Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Dark with this gaming over here. I'm gonna make the commentary short and sweet for the most part. So I got the KVK. I think we can actually see that on the Rift 9. I'm gonna go grind it out for Dark Matter, both the KVK and the Rift 9 or Rift E9. I don't know why I keep calling the Rift 9. And other than that, I'm gonna just give out my opinions and what I probably feel that are the best attachments for this gun. And apart from that, just how I like the gun overall. Pretty much that simple. Alright, so let's get the attachment part out of the way. It needs grip. You actually cannot decide not to wear, not to use grip on this gun. You can, but it's just going to be a little bit more difficult to manage the recoil. Other than that, honestly, this gun is very good up close when you're accurate in middle ranges or medium range. But it is honestly, if you have a ELO or whatnot, red dot. I seen people and I feel like it's not as difficult to like pick out people from far ranges you just gotta like kind of two three burst them like because when you shoot them like pr -pr -pr -pr, like with a burst honestly surprisingly it still kills pretty quick because honestly like it is very good at that like the a94 so I'm not entirely surprised but surprisingly it's not as difficult in a game like this where the iron sight it's gonna be a problem if you're trying to like get more of the medium kills and long range kills if it's possible but the iron sight it's like in a close quarter map but then here's where even then it's like a big of a problem the iron sight move and obviously in this game for the most times you might be like exo moving and even if you're not it's still very just not practical honestly unless like you stay foot, foot on the ground like it shouldn't be a problem but like I feel like a lot of people that optic sights would be very recommended for this because that wiggling is really annoying honestly and other than that I pretty much just gotta say this gun is just a beast and it can be overpowered with the right attachments that are necessary fast mag is very good on this too because the reload is not bad but it just could be better Extend the mag, I can see it working, but I find fast mag for this gun just a lot more better, to be honest. Find it to be more of a better candidate, but if I had to compare it to a gun that's right now here, kind of like how the MX Garand compares to a better Shiva in certain ways, I have to say this is the overall better KN44. That's pretty much the way that I gotta basically put it out there. It's a better KM44, and even in that sense, it's a better Man of War for the most part. Unless if I'm being high or drunk right now and I don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, I find it to be very, 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 very good. But of course, for the wiggling thing, or to control it better with that wiggling thing, or the Iron Sight, an optic sight of you choosing is better. Mine would be ELO for this, like uh, a lot of people. And other than that, I just find this gun just to be freaking quick with a time to kill. It's just crazy quick. Like, if you're accurate, you probably honestly want to stay as accurate as possible. Otherwise, you're not taking full advantage of the gun. Because it is a very powerful gun, but obviously, like any other gun, but mainly because of the iron sight or even then. You want to get your shots as quick as possible, and then that's going to kill him even quick as possible but if anything this thing is a uh, accurate you get a very high reward and it, it most times can be forgiven if you like you miss the first shot as long as you then start killing and all that stuff with uh, three shots up and sometimes I think you can get headshots of two shots I don't remember or haven't tested it out I heard that, I think it's with a high caliber, which I don't have right now, but this thing, honestly, the class I feel like I would use for the most part, there are three of them. So the first one, all of them are going to have ELO, but the first one, it's honestly, actually minus one, the first one's going to be something like fast mag, quick drop, ELO, and high caliber, because... It actually would work out more for a two-shot kill if it's possible, but I think it is. This gun literally would mark if it had high caliber. Another one is instead of high caliber, 
not long barrel but suppressor and that's honestly like not a bad idea I think I could be wrong but if you're able to put another another attachment after that I would suggest in it like instead of just suppressor along that like put another extra attachment from the fast mag and um, grip and quick draw and suppressor I think honestly you could pick between suppressor if you can be stealthy or rapid fire and it would be wonderful so those are the three classes now an extra bonus class that I was gonna say without the uh, iron sight would be basically making this more favorable for like up close encounters or smaller maps that will most likely be just using the iron sight nah I'm joking with you just keep the elo sight if you really want to honestly go beast mode I mean you can go it you can use it without like a uh, elo or anything like that but it just overall works better when you have a optic attachment but other than that I found this gun to be very very good so I'm not gonna really just talk or repeat myself in this gameplay and the Rift 9 is very nice too that's all I gotta say right now for the gun for the meanwhile and I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay enjoy the rest of it too I'm gonna basically leave you to enjoy the last minutes or so of this video it's been your boy Dark of this game and I'm out peace